Welcome to the Fret Frontier. Today, we will be taking a look at the Cordoba Mini 2 MH. The MH stands for mahogany. This is the uh, entry level guitar into the Cordoba Mini 2 uh, series. It's made out of laminated mahogany. It joins, the body joins the guitar at the 14th fret. So you see the 12th fret here, 13, 14th fret bars right here. So there's no cutaway. There are also no electronics uh, on the guitar. There is a uh, end pin for your strap in uh, both places on the neck and on the heel. And the back has open tuners. Now this is similar uh, in size, well it's the exact same size, it's a quarter size guitar. So let me briefly show you uh, the EB model just for a uh, comparison of the features. So when you're looking at the uh, EB model you get your uh, onboard tuner and your electronics. You get the buttons for your strap. You get the cutaway, and so you get, you know, access to way more frets coming up here. But you still have the open tuners. The wood uh, is elevated here in that you have a solid spruce top. And then the back and sides are, again, laminated, uh, and they're ebony. Okay, so that's uh, your basic differences. You still have a tie bridge. Both of them take nylon strings. Uh, this guitar I played in a prior video. I'll give you a link to that uh, if you want to hear that for a sound comparison. Uh, in this particular case, uh, this guitar is on its way to sleepaway camp at the Luthier uh, due to some lifting in the bridge here. Life with guitars, right? So the bridge has started to lift a little bit here, and uh, I don't want to tune it all the way up and uh, stress the strings at this time. Uh, but you can hear the sample of that on my uh, prior video comparing the guitars. I wanted to do this video now because it was a question that was asked to me in my prior video. What's the difference? How does this mahogany one sound? So I'll give you a sound sample while I have this guitar here with me. This one is on sleepaway camp with me uh, from a friend uh, because it needed a little bit of maintenance work, which uh, I did on it. And, uh, the, you know, it's the winter and it gets dry, you get a little bit of fret sprout, so it just needed a little bit of sanding. So I did those activities on it, so I have access to it uh, to play it for you guys today and show you how it, it sounds. Now I will tell you that it's very hard for me to give this guitar back to my friend, so I did order one for myself, but I had to ship it back and I'll tell you what happened here. So these uh, wood bridges here on both these guitars, you take one of these string tech uh, gauges, I used the little gauge here on the side that starts, goes 5, 10, 15, 20, just to see how high, I'll show you a little picture of that, how high this piece of wood here was on the bridge. And it's just over uh, the 5, I'd say, maybe, maybe 6, 7, uh, and same with the other guitar. That I just showed you, the EB. But the new one that came of this brand had the piece of wood set all the way up to 10. So this was raised way high, the action was high, and that was before we even start looking at this, uh, the, the saddle piece here, this uh, piece of bone in here. So uh, what was happening uh, due to the strange arrangement there is that these tenor strings were just sliding all over on uh, the saddle and that impacts the intonation so uh, back it went still like this guitar but i would recommend if you're interested in it to see if you could play it in a store rather than uh, getting it online just to make sure everything is is going well with it before you you bring it home okay so with uh, all that background information here drum roll is the moment i've been waiting for anyway getting to play it uh, notice this Okay, notice this, oh, so this is just really, notice this, it's just sitting on my lap. It has such a nice, a nice balance to it that I could just put it here and it stays. You'll notice on the EB, love playing that guitar too, but I have that uh, using a neck up uh, strap. Let me show you that quickly. 
So to get this little guy in the right position, if I sit him here, I, you know, I feel that it's, it's pulling on me. It's not as balanced. So I have one of these neck up straps on here. It's a modified strap with a suction cup. It hooks onto the bottom of your, your strap button here on your guitar. And then it allows you to adjust the height of the guitar so you can get the neck up. That's the name. So it's in the right position, it's comfortable to play, and you don't have to worry about it. Only with this one, I could use the neck up on this, but I don't even have to. It just sits here, and it's, it's, just, it's just fun. So here we go, here's your sound sample. Okay, fun guitar. Allow me to show you the gig bag that fits this particular guitar. So in this series, the Cordoba Mini 2, you have to buy the gig bag separately. Now it's the same exact gig bag that came uh, with the Mini series, the one without the two, the slightly smaller guitar, it's still a quarter size guitar, just a little bit bigger, fits in this bag perfectly. Uh, so when you're looking for the bag, don't be confused. As long as it's for a Cordoba Mini, it will fit. Get a nice uh, roomy uh, pouch here in the front. It can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. On the inside, it's nicely uh, padded, and it gives you an area here. There's this uh, pad that the neck will sit on. You can strap it in there. Uh, zips, zippers, no no stick anywhere zips from both sides and you get the handle on there and then you get this nice backpack opportunity where you have the two straps it's easy uh, to carry very light both guitars that I have tried in this series the one I'm showing you now and uh, the EB very light to carry around Okay, so I hope that helps you out uh, know the difference between the two guitars. Uh, again, I bought mine a couple years ago. So we're saying these are like uh, two years old now, the guitars that I'm showing you. And the one that I got recently, uh, in fact, uh, just a couple of days ago that I sent back was of this model. So I'm recommending that if you're interested, if you can at all, play them um, uh in a store or make sure you buy it from someplace that will allow you to uh, exchange it uh, without any repercussions if you get one and you have that strange uh, condition that I had where your uh, tenor strings are sliding around there because uh, that's no fun. This is a really fun guitar when you get a good one so uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed hearing this guitar as much as I enjoyed playing it and I'll see you in the next episode.